Hi, it's John Kelly with another edition of Softball Performance Tips. Today I want to talk about how you can actually create a predictable result for your athlete on game day. As parents and coaches, we all want our kids to play the best they can play on game day, and so often we see them perform at a certain level during practice and not bring the same performance level or get the same results on game day. And I want to talk briefly about why that happens and how you can uh, get a greater predictor of success on game day and how that works. Obviously in a game like fast pitch, mastering the game is a difficult process. It takes years to do so. And the idea of preparation is so critical. Uh, it's important that your athlete succeed in her game by design and not by default. In other words, she's got to have a plan and bring that to her game in an effort to be consistently successful. In other words, success is not an accident. It's a product of preparation and a product of design. So we all know that physical preparation is so critical to softball, but so often as a coach I see in practice players not really bringing the same level of intensity or focus or purpose to their practice, and yet the practice really should be harder than the game should be. Game day should be a reward. Game day should be the payoff for the investment of hard work and time and effort your athlete puts in. But all too often I see young athletes in practice sort of screwing around or not really understanding that that's the time for them to put in maximum effort. That's the time for them to have mental focus. That's the time for them to really build a game plan they can take to the field on Saturday or Sunday. So you can't just turn on the focus switch and, and uh, play at that level on, on game day if you don't do it during practice. So success on game day is predictable because if you work hard in practice, if you work hard during the week on your mental game, you do visualization and mental imagery, you work on seeing your success, you work on your practice during the week of taking the things the previous weekend of game days where you need to get better in certain elements of your game. You come to the practice ready to uh, become better. And then on game day, really, for your athlete, game day starts the moment she wakes up. Game day starts the moment her eyes open up in the morning, on a Saturday morning. She needs to start getting herself ready mentally for competition that day. If she's a pitcher or not a pitcher, it really doesn't matter. She can take five minutes in the morning before she gets out of bed, close her eyes, and she can visually see her success. She can see the things she wants to work on. She can see herself succeeding that day. When you're in the visualization process, you're the writer, the director, the producer, the actor of your own movie. She can use all of her senses and really step into that game before she's actually in that game and start getting her mind prepared for success. Bring back a previous success so she can she can connect to the fact that she's done that before. So she's in a hitting slump or a pitching slump or a fielding slump. Bring back a prior success. Five minutes is all it takes. Five minutes before she gets out of bed in the morning. She can do it at night before she goes to sleep. When you come to, to game day for pregame, have a plan. Get yourself stretched and loosen up. If you're a pitcher, allow yourself enough time to do what you need to do to be ready to play the game when it starts. Get your mind and your body in the right place. Approach your game by design. Have a plan. Remember, success is not an accident on game day. Do it by design, and you'll see predictable success on game day. And it's John Kelly. Again, if you haven't already done so, below is a link to subscribe to my weekly Softball Smarts tips by email. You also can follow me here on YouTube as well as Facebook and Twitter as well. Hey, thanks for watching.